let me add another point. From the fiqh of sins is to know that when the cause to do the sin is weak and one can strongly resist that sin yet he commits it, the punishment is worse. Two people can do the same exact sin, yet one may get punished more than the other. Someone who went out looking and pursuing a sin isn't like someone who that same exact sin came to him and he fell into it in the spur of the moment without planning, even though both are sinful. Let me give you an example from a hadith that establishes this concept. In Sahih Muslim, the Messenger وسلم, said, ثَلَاثَةٌ لَا يُكَلِّمُهُمُ اللَّهُ وَلَا يَنْظُرُ إِلَيْهِمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ وَلَا يُزَكِّيهِمْ وَلَهُمْ عَذَابٌ أَلِيمٌ One of them is Shaykh Zanin. There's three categories of people Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not speak to on the day of judgment, nor will He purify them, nor will He uh, look at them, and for them is a painful torment. One of them is Shaykh Zanin, an old man who commits fornication. Shaykh here means an old man, an old man who commits fornication. He was specified because his desires at that age are usually weak. He's older. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, أَوَلَمْ نُعَمِّرْكُمْ مَا يَتَذَكَّرُ فِيهِ مَنْ تَذَكَّرْ وَجَاءَكُمُ النَّذِيرُ The warner has come to you. Among the opinions pertaining to this verse, وَجَاءَكُمُ النَّذِيرُ And it may not be the selected one, but among the opinions is, وَجَاءَكُمُ النَّذِيرُ The warner has come to you, means it's white hair. The white hair is a warning that you're getting closer to the grave. So shape up. But he instead goes and commits zina wal billah. Someone will say that Shaykh, that old man, may have strong desires. Let's assume so. Some actually do. But then take it from a different perspective. He lived 60, 70, 80 years or so. He heard khutab, durus, experience in life. Is he like a youth who just learned about relationship with women? and his desires just began and they're at their peak? This is not to diminish how horrific sins are for youth your age. And I emphasize that. Sins are destructive in this dunya before the akhirah. Sins strip you of your wealth and blessings. They bring you hardships. They make your life difficult. Their ammunition and strength you hand over to your enemy. They bring you illnesses and trials. You feel everywhere you go, everything is against you. All the doors are shut in your face. Jobs, you can't find one. Marriage, everyone rejects you. Promotions, they keep turning them down. Every time you think you saved some money, you end up with an expenditure that takes away that saving. A poem attributed to Ali radiallahu an is إِذَا كُنْتَ فِي نِعْمَةٍ فَرْعَهَا فَإِنَّ الْمَعَاصِي تُزِيلُ النِّعَمَةً وَحَافِظْ عَلَيْهَا بِتَقْوَى الْإِلَاهِ فَإِنَّ الْإِلَاهَ سَرِيعُ النِّقَمْ And for Talabat al-Ilm is the poem in the incident that happened between the Shafi'i and his Sheikh. شكوت إلى وكيع سوء حفظي فأرشدني إلى ترك المعاصي وأخبرني بأن العلم نور ونور الله لا يهدى لعاصي And for you beginners in طلب العلم Keep the statement between your eyes Actually frame it And put it in the room that you sleep and study in And always contemplate it Ibn al-Jawzi rahimahullah ta'ala in Sayyid al-Khatir was talking about what he saw of the effect of sins on the people of his time. He said, وَرَأَيْتُ أَقْوَامًا مِنَ الْمُنْتَسِبِينَ إِلَى الْعِلْمِ أَهْمَلُوا نَظَرَ الْحَقِّ عَزَّ وَجَلْ إِلَيْهِمْ فِي الْخَلَوَاتِ فَمَحَا مَحَاسِنَ ذِكْرِهِمْ فِي الْجَلَوَاتِ I saw people 
who ascribed themselves to knowledge but they neglected Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala watching them in solitude so he stripped them of any good mention in public al khalawat is private al jalawat is public they committed secret sins so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stripped them of any good mention in public فَكَانُوا مَوْجُودِينَ كَالْمَعْدُمِينَ They were present, but it's as if they were not even there. Meaning they were useless. They may have had knowledge. They may have had lectures in audience, but there's no effect. فَكَانُوا مَوْجُودِينَ كَالْمَعْدُمِينَ لَا حَلَاوَةَ لِرُؤْيَتِهِمْ وَلَا قَلْبَ يَحِنُّ إِلَى لِقَائِهِمْ There is no sweetness in looking at them and no hearts yearn to meet them sins are a catastrophe for all ages but this is to show you one of the concepts of the fiqh of sins sometimes people get punished at levels or degrees more than others for the same sin and from the fiqh of sins is that if you fall into the swamp of sin in Wal'iyadu Billah, don't let the shaitan invest in that sin. Don't let him invest in it by making it multiple sins and worse sins. Never bolster. Kullu ummati mu'afa illa al-mujahireen. All the sins of my followers will be forgiven except al-mujahireen. Mujahireen is not just one who brags and discloses sins to others. But it's also one who commits it openly and publicly with no shame. Like the public filth and fusuk that's been spreading in Bilad al haramain And worse than mujahara is attempting to justify the sin by falling into the trap of the shaitan, bending and twisting the meanings of the verses and proofs in an attempt to justify the sin by claiming it's halal. Committing a sin is one dangerous thing, but it's a sin. Changing it and claiming the haram is a halal is kufr. A sin is a sin if the entire globe is doing it. Don't justify the sin and say, look, everyone is doing it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala judges every one of us individually. Don't look at others and say the punishment has been delayed. Nothing has happened to him and he's doing that sin. So I can do that sin. You're adding more sins and you're thinking evil of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Among the fiqh of sins is to know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al-wadud. If you return to him. Sometimes someone makes a mistake against you or me. He asks you for forgiveness. You say, I forgive you, but this is a big one. I forgive you. But I'm going to keep my distance. Or someone keeps making the mistake against you or towards you over and over again. He keeps asking you for forgiveness. Forgive me for this and forgive me for that. You forgive him. You say, I'll forgive you. But I'm going to stay away and keep the bare minimum shari contact I'm obligated to have with you. Nothing more. You distance yourself from him after forgiving him. Humans do that. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't do that. With Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's different. No matter how many sins, no matter how many times you return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the same sin, asking him for forgiveness, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is وَهُوَ الْغَفُورُ الْوَدُودِ Al-Ghafoor, we know it. He forgives. But there's another quality connected to it. Al-Wadud. He loves those who return to him in repentance. Al-Wadud wants them closer to him after their repentance and after forgiving them more than they were before. Bring the coffee for the brothers. Jazakallah khair.